In this video, we will show you how to build a digital model based on a TRIOS scan. To design a model, it should be ordered in the order form. There are several variants of models available. Sectioned, die-ditched model. Unsectioned model. Unsectioned model with standalone dies. Sectioned, cut model. To design a section die ditch model, make sure that the section die ditched icon has been chosen. When you design a restoration in Dental Designer, Model Builder will open automatically once you finish the designing process. Simply click Model while at the Save step. If you want to design a model for an already prepared scan while being in Dental Manager, you can either double click on a scanned case or right click the case and choose Build Model. In Model Builder, on the Prepared Scans step, you can correct the occlusion plane to get the proper orientation of the dies and articular interface, trim the scans to get a nicer model, and remove artifacts at the Add Remove Material step. Whenever you are ready, click Next to go further. The Combine with Design steps allow you to set the options for the digital model with the restoration previously designed in Dental Designer. Decide which option suits your restoration type best, and when you are done, click OK to proceed to the next step. The Section Scan step. When you choose the Available sub-step, you can section the neighboring teeth in your scan. Typically, you'll just reuse the margin line already set in Dental Designer, but for some cases, like inlays and onlays, it's useful to set the cutout line below the margin line. To section the neighbors in your scan, click the Neighbor button. Then, select the top of the neighbor, or drag the mouse around the margin line, and edit the die cutout line. If you wish to do the same for the second neighbor, repeat the procedure. Click OK to apply the changes, and Next to move to the next step. Now you are at the Generate Die step. At this step, the dies are generated automatically, and for both jaws, if applicable. You can check and adjust the insertion directions of the individual dies. Click the die to make it active and adjust its position by dragging the virtual axis. Click the Set Insertion Direction button to set the insertion direction from the current view. The possibility of changing the insertion direction helps when the direction of a die crosses or penetrates the front of the model. Click Apply. Click OK to save the changes and Next to move further. In the Articulator Interface step, you can select a specific articulator model and choose whether to add an ID tag to the model, and dies for easy matching if you print in higher volumes. Having chosen your articulator interface, rotate it to find the desired position. When done, move further. Now you will be in the finalized step. If you wish to save time and material during the printing process, choose the virtual trimming preferences from the right menu, and then in Model Manufacturer, you can select the settings for hollowing the models. You can access the virtual trimming tool also from the File menu after minimalizing the window or with a Ctrl plus T shortcut. You can also choose the Hollowing Models option as a default in Control Panel for the selected models group before the design. The model design is now completed and you can save it and send for manufacturing. If it's necessary, you can use the Sculpt Toolkit to modify your model or add the attachments. At that stage, it's possible to add a chosen attachment to the articulator interface. When your sculpting is finished, click OK. Click Next to generate the models. At that stage, all models have been saved and you can close the model builder. To design a sectioned cut model, the suitable icon must be selected. Make sure that the sectioned cut model icon has been chosen. All the steps are the same. However, when at the articulator interface stage, select one of the available interfaces for the sectioned models, for example, Bauman. Then set it in a desired position. Now move to the next step to perform cutting of the model. If the sectioned model option has been specified in the order form, use the Perform Jaw Cutting button 
draw lines with the cursor to position cutting planes on the model. Click OK to cut and save all models. Click Next to complete the model. All models are now saved and the model builder can be closed. Now you know how to design digital models based on a TRIOS scan. To learn more, we do recommend watching other videos suggested in the description box. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.